Although it's no knowledge that Lado and Ice Spice don't get along, they were recently caught wearing the same attire. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. In May of this year, Lado was first spotted sporting the ensemble a leopard print tank top and leggings with lace details in Instagram pictures. In her brand new music video for Popa, which she released last week, Ice Spice donned it to twerk in an aircraft. Naturally, this gave rise to rumors that Ice Spice had done this on purpose. Although it's still unclear, Lado appeared to address it today on her Instagram story. The rapper from Sunday Service shared a meme featuring Princess Jasmine with her unattractive imitation. Fans are certain that this was a hit at Ice Spice, even if it's unclear. That being said, there have been other instances of the two artists fighting over clothes. Lado was spotted wearing a Von Dutch jacket, crop top, and pleated miniskirt last summer. It appears that the Bronx Femsi shared the opinion of several admirers that it looked like something straight out of her wardrobe. A fan account for Ice Spice posted a picture of Lado's appearance at the moment with the caption, No identity Elmao. Ice Spice tweeted shortly after, letting her followers know that I hate a B-word with no identity. Ruby Rose's accusation that Drewski paid for her time doesn't seem to worry her too much. Drewski published a meme of the 2003 version of Love Don't Cost a Thing in response to Ruby Rose's ex-posts, in which she claimed that their whole relationship was simply one big marketing ploy. But Drewski photoshopped in his own visage to replace Christina Millian's co-star Nick Cannon in the movie. Love Don't Cost a Thing A remake of the 1987 film Can't Buy Me Love is, as you may already be aware, a coming-of-age teen love story. It revolves around Alvin Johnson Nick Cannon, who pretends to be Paris Morgan's Christina Millian boyfriend in exchange for fixing her mother's car, which she damaged. But eventually, they start to feel genuine affection for one another. It's unclear whether Drewski was trying to let us know that things between him and Ruby Rose got serious at any point or if he was merely using it as an excuse to laugh off the accusations. It appears like Rose and Drewski never really had a connection. The musician stated on her ex just now that Drewski paid her to pose as his girlfriend for media purposes and that they never truly dated. To begin the outrageous admission, she wrote, and for the record I never slept with that man, and a paid for PR. Not the PY Rose, did, however, remark that the internet comic is funny and nice though. In spite of the supposed nature of their relationship, she went on to clarify that they had never shared a bed. I only give it up if I'm in love, I don't care how much money Anna got. I'm rich ass flaw. Right. We don't go to the shows like out. the other girls. Law Roach and Naomi Campbell are being accused of disparaging Rihanna after joining the social media demure craze that went viral. We don't come with our tatas out or our chichis out. In a video on Instagram, Roach said to his followers, Very demure. Very mindful. Very cutesy. Don't give too much. Just give a little. Which prompted Campbell to add, It's not about showing yourself, it's about showing the pros. Fans in the comments section quickly interpreted the remarks as being meant to dis respect Rihanna. I feel like this is a Rihanna shade and I hope she does not respond. This is peasant behavior, one user wrote. Another added, if y'all mad she ignored y'all just say that. Very cute to see. The fan was making reference to an incident that happened during New York Fashion Week at the Alea Fashion Show. Edward Iniffel, the former chief editor of British Vogue, was seated next to Campbell and Roach, and Rihanna stopped by to greet him. She did not bother to talk to either of them, though. Previously, during an interview on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, Campbell dismissed the notion that he had a problem with Rihanna. Everything's fine, she said. I'm an actress now, Andy. I don't have beef especially with black women. The support is powerful, we are all out there doing the same thing. We all have the same struggle. In the wake of the latest drama, Roach wrote on X, can y'all just stop making ST up? Y'all always think something has to be something. According to reports, Naomi Campbell's representative, 54, claimed that there are no issues between the two. As the Diamond singer meets the person seated next to her, the runway model can be seen in the footage looking up at Rihanna, 36, with a friendly smile. Naomi Campbell was among the several people in the vicinity who came forward to give assistance to Rihanna when she almost slipped on her gown later in the video. In case you didn't notice. That being said, based Based on what little we have seen, we don't really blame people for concluding that they don't get along. For instance, on Friday, both celebrities went to an event during New York Fashion Week. Rihanna didn't seem to acknowledge the Dior partner as she approached to say hello to a man who was seated just next to Campbell, which a lot of fans are taking at face value. In case you missed it, Naomi Campbell refuted rumors that she and Rihanna were having problems in 2021. We're not sure where this whole thing started, but a lot of people believe it's just a rivalry between the media, fashion, and other industries. The fact that this isn't Campbell's only high-profile celebrity encounter of the year shouldn't come as a surprise given her enormous popularity. At Chanel's runaway earlier this year, she was seated in the front row with Kendrick Lamar or really, the other way around, as she's the style icon here. Rihanna doesn't have to worry about Naomi Campbell or anyone else because her husband Asap Rocky is always there to compliment her. It's crazy how we find balance with our chaotic schedules, he told Bill word of their bond. The relationship is going great. I don't think there's a more perfect person because when the schedules are hectic, she's very understanding of that. 
And when the schedule's freed up, that's when you get to spend the most time together. It's all understanding and compatibility.